Hey guys, Titan here, back with another video on importing and exporting Cinti's rigged models into Blender and Unity. This time we are covering Cinti's modular characters, which require some special steps. If you are importing any of their other characters, check out my other video, Cinti to Blender, Importing Rigged Models. The link will be in the description. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import the uh, modular character FBX. File, import. We've got the modular characters here and we want to make sure we have the right settings here. So we want to uncheck animations and we want to check all three of these here. And this should be the settings that I've found to work. It'll take a second to import. It's a pretty large file. Alright, and the first thing is it's all kind of all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Pose Mode, Pose, Clear Transform All. And that's fixed it really quickly. So you'll notice that there's no models here. It's just the skeleton. And that's because the model's actually really tiny all the way down in there. And so we're having a scaling issue. So what we want to do is we want to go back to Object Mode and we want to turn both of these, we want to hide both of these. And then we can come down in here and we can see the actual models. So the first thing we want to do is we want to search for female underscore 20. And the torso is what we're looking for, this one right here. So we click the torso and then we go to object properties and we can see it's kind of different than all the other ones. It has a different location and that's going to mess things up. So we want to press control A and apply that location. So it'll be zero. All right. And the next thing we want to do is we want to scale it up. So we're going to change all these things to one and that's only affecting this one object, but that's okay because if we, if we press A to select everything, then we can right click here and click copy single to selected and do that for each one. And now when we zoom back out, it's all scaled up. We can close that and we can look at the armature and we can see that the it's scaled up with the armature now. But if you were to import this into Unity, it would actually be a hundred times too big. So we now have to scale it down. So we want to select only the armature right now. And we want to reduce the scaling. So we can press S.01 and then enter. And if we come down here, we can see that we've reduced the scaling by 0 0.010. And you also, when you do that, you want to make sure that you are using median point scaling. So now what we need to do is we need to also rotate the armature, change this to zero. All right, now we want to apply everything. So we want to press control A, location, control A, rotation, control A, scale. And you can also, I believe, do object, let's see, apply. Yeah, here you go. You can find it under object apply as well but control A is usually easier so let's rotate this back 90 degrees so he's standing up right but don't apply it this time this is just so you can see what's going on all right we want to hide the armature again and then we're going to select everything or select an individual piece and then select everything by pressing A and then we can see that the scaling is much is not a not one on these, so we want to press Control A again and change the scale. So that should have applied the scale for all those pieces. And now we can edit any of these pieces that we want. We can open the armature and we can have access to any of the pieces. The only downside is that they've lost some of their organization. They're not really in. Uh, individual groups anymore but they're all still here and now what you can do you can um, do file exp 
once you're done editing it, file, export, FBX, and I've got a test folder ready for it. So we're going to um, make sure we have FBX unit scale as the option for apply scalings. And for the armature, we don't need any leaf bones. That just adds extra bones to the tips. And then we also don't have any animations with this, so we don't need to bake any animations. All right, so we're going to export this as modular test.fbx. And that'll take a little bit. And I'm going to see you over in Unity. All right, now we're here in Unity. And it's time to import our new asset. So we go to the modular test, import, and that's going to take just a little bit. All right, we've got our modular character here. And we need to make sure we set the animation type to humanoid and apply that. That'll also take a little while. All right. So it looks like everything's imported well. As long as there's no errors here, then you should be good to go. All right. So we can actually drag our guy into the view now. And we are going to copy the... Unity's default character, Ethan, we're going to copy his settings over to our modular character. Then we're going to attach this camera to him. So almost forgot one step. We need to come down here and put in the modular test avatar. So the avatar of the import character right here. And then we can press play. And everything seems to be working just great. Our character is running around. He can jump. And all the animations are working great on him. So hopefully this was really helpful to you. I know that um, I've always had issues uh, with Blender and its import settings. So hopefully they'll be able to fix that someday. But until then, uh, you should like and subscribe if this was able to help you. And I'll see you next time.